Chess friends, couple of weeks ago I uploaded a video where I sacrificed my knight or bishop in the opening against Magnus Carlsen, those videos was very enjoyable and today Alpha Zero played with world champion Magnus Carlsen I, he sacrificed his rook early and the game become very insane, let me show you the game, Alpha started with a4, it is called where opening, he wants to bring his rook like this and sacrifice his rook on a good square to easily attack the black king, d5 by Magnus, rook up to a3. Magnus played e5, targeting on the rook, and grabbing center and space with e5, we have rook slide to f3, knight comes to f6, here alpha sacrificed his rook by capturing a knight, queen takes rook, it is about minus 4 advantages for black, white needs so many developing moves go get active on the game, here alpha 0 chooses to play d3, knight comes to c6, we have e5, d captured pawn, d captured e4, queen goes to g6, targeting on this pawn, and Magnus can play bishop before check forcing white to play c3, and blocking the knight's entry point, so we have knight to d2, try to protect this pawn, and getting rid from this bishop check, bishop goes to c5, Magnus can play f5 on his next move, followed by castle, try to open up the rook's file and creating some pressure on f file, knight goes to f3, we have castle, Magnus is threatening to play f5, we have c3, Alpha wants to play b4, or starts pushing his pawn on h file, so a5 by Magnus, queen up to c2, bishop goes to e6, knight goes to h5, queen comes to g5, knight back to f3, queen on g6, we have knight h4 again, repetition move, queen goes to h6, knight back to f3, rook f goes to d8, bishop up to e2, queen slides on g6, targeting on this pawn, so knight to h4 again, queen slides to f6, targeting on this pawn with bishop, and threatening the knight at the same time, so alpha brings back his knight, queen back to e7, knight goes to b3, bishop back to b6, knight comes here to g5, targeting on this bishop, Magnus takes the knight with his bishop, we have queen takes b3. Alpha is threatening to play knight takes pawn, let me show the variation, if black plays very ordinary move, rook to b8, then alpha will take the pawn, knight takes f7, if you think, wow, I will a free knight, queen takes f7, no it's not, because after bishop to c4, the queen will be pinned to the king, and you are gonna lose your queen and the game, so, back to the position, Magnus played h6, kicking out the knight first, alpha played knight takes f7 anyway, because he knows that queen takes knight isn't possible. Because of bishop c4, it will destroy your queen, so, here Magnus played bishop takes f2, best move, unfortunately you cannot the bishop, let me show you why, if king takes happen, then queen takes f7, targeting the queen with a check, you have to take the queen, and after that black will win the game at the end game, because he have a rook for a knight, so, back to the position, we have king to f1, instead of taking the bishop. In this position, best move is to play rook f8, let me show it, if rook f8 be played, targeting on the knight, if you play king takes bishop, then rook takes check, after king g3, black have some points of advantages if he play correctly, at the human level it is almost equal but at the computer level, black have advantages, so, back to the position, the knight have no square to run, best move is to take the pawn, creating double check to the king, king slides to h8, knight comes to f5, this targeting the queen and the bishop, so bishop goes back to h4, the knight can't take the queen, because it's pinned to the king, black will play g6 to target this, and at this point, black holds some advantages, but in the game, Magnus played queen takes knight, ignoring the threat, bishop to c4, we have bishop to c4, targeting the queen, rook comes here to d1, king up to e2, rook takes rook, alpha played bishop takes queen check, king goes to h7, if you take the bishop, then black will take your bishop, so. Alpha played bishop to e6, we wants to play bishop f5 check, because these light squares are super weak for black, rook goes to f8, bishop to f5 check, king back to h8, we have queen takes b7, targeting this, and this, knight goes to e7, if you try to take it, let me show it, queen takes c7, then knight takes, takes, rook takes, king takes, rook takes check, and white have a queen for two rooks, and this position is almost equal, so, 
In this position, Alpha played absolutely brilliant move, you can pause the video. The move is not hard to find, Alpha played bishop takes h7, sacrificing a bishop, if you take the bishop, then king takes bishop, the point is that, white win a pawn, and makes black structure and king position terrible, when you are losing it's important to keep your most pieces alive and avoid trading, so here Magnus brings back his bishop, bishop at to d2, we have rook g1, king up to f3, g6, we have g3, pawn takes, pawn takes h4, pawn check, king takes e4, Wish you all the best, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.